What's up guys, today we're going to be comparing the Galaxy Note 9 versus the new S22 Ultra here. So Samsung is banking on Note 9 users to really consider upgrading, so let's see if it's worth your money. So the Note 9, if you check out my videos, is a really awesome phone and it's just really good with the price that it has right now at around 250 bucks For a phone with a built-in stylus, it's pretty nice. S22 Ultra after taxes cost me around $1,300, so very expensive phone. Uh, right off the bat with the hardware, you can see a big design change here. It almost looks completely different um, here. So especially like with the camera modules, as you can see, there's a big design change uh, here. I guess it, it does look a little bit more modern compared to the Note 9 here. I do really like the color on the Note 9. You can see they have the physical fingerprint scanner on the back. You can see it's really the camera modules here just look completely different. Uh, the S22 Ultra is definitely the heavier uh, phone here and it is definitely the thicker phone here as well too so just be aware of that. Now there is something you will notice with the hardware. One, the stylus is on the right, the stylus is on the left on the S22 Ultra and then also the headphone jack is gone on the S22 Ultra. You can see it is still there on the Note 9 of course. All right, so now let's talk about the front of the phone, the displays on these two guys. Uh, so actually, you're not getting a really a big upgrade in terms of resolution. The Note 9 still has a 1440p or 2K display, 516 for the PPI, so it's still a very high resolution uh, display. It's Super AMOLED with HDR10, and it's a 6.4 inch display as well too. And on the S22 Ultra, you can see that you now have a bigger phone. Uh, 6.8 inches and then it is a dynamic AMOLED display at 120 Hertz HDR 10 plus and then it gets a peak brightness of 1750 nits so it is a little bit brighter outdoors as well too and it's also a 1440p display with 500 ppi so slightly lower but you really can't tell the difference um so obviously the first thing that stands out bigger display and you have a better screen to body ratio now uh, the note 9 it does not have any type of notch or punch hole something that i really like as you can see you do have a punch hole on the s22 ultra but as far as screen quality themselves, they actually look a lot alike in terms of color and, you know, obviously the resolution is the same. So if we just like, you know, come up and we look at like the icons and everything, they really do look a lot similar. It's just that you have a more modern uh, design as far as the uh, screen to body ratio. Uh, it does have, they both have these slight curves, which I think they, they yeah, they look like they curve about the same too as well so screen quality is still very good on the note 9 but it is like in the 120 hertz of course you do have that so when you're scrolling and stuff on the uh s22 ultra you can definitely tell uh the difference there uh pretty much doing anything you can definitely tell the 120 hertz does feel super buttery smooth uh there so let's go ahead and talk about software the S20, S22 Ultra is running Android 12 with One UI 4.1. The Note 9, the last major OS update was Android 10 and it's currently in its security patch stages. And I think I actually got, yeah, I actually had an update um, security patch today too. So we'll talk about that with the Note 9 as well too. So it's still getting updates. It's just not gonna get any more major OS updates. Uh, but again, this phone is going to get four years of major OS updates and about four or five years of security patches as well too. So that might be a, a good reason to upgrade is that you want the next iterations of Android. Uh, so that's definitely uh, could be a concern of yours. And let's go ahead and talk about the CPU upgrade. So you do have a much faster CPU on the S22 Ultra as far as benchmarks go. Uh, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, you also have the Adreno 730 uh, GPU, no SD card support on the S22 Ultra, the base storage is 128 gigs and 8 gigs, the model I have here, and then on the Note 9, it's running the Snapdragon 845 chip, Adreno 630, this does have micro SD card support as well, so you have 128 gigs and 6 gigs of storage, so you can technically get more storage on your base model on the Note 9 uh, with that SD card support, which is really nice. Um, so as far as speed, if you get into a quick little speed test, uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna see a massive difference here. We'll go ahead and open Subway Surf. Okay, pretty nice. 
Um, I will show you guys Geekbench scores, but the scores is just not working on the S22 Ultra for some reason. Most likely because it just came out. We'll open up YouTube. That was extremely close. We'll go ahead and open up Instagram. So you can see, slightly faster, but is that really uh, that much faster for the average person? Will the average person, you know, is that a big deal? Because it's not like it's like super slow or lagging the Note 9, uh, but it is definitely uh, much snappier. Let's go ahead, and this is where uh, a pretty nice upgrade comes in, is when we get to gaming performance on here. So let's go ahead and open up PUBG, see how these handle a more intense game, see if we can see if we can see a difference with opening up a heavier game here. And it looks like the S22 Ultra. Wow, that was extremely close. Wow, did you guys see that? Now here's pretty much the difference with gaming performance. Obviously the S22 Ultra will be able to pretty much play anything you throw at it at high settings. If you go to graphics, you can see you can do HDR Extreme all the way up to uh, Ultra HD here. And you'll just have a very smooth uh, experience with pretty much any game that you play, it'll be able to blow through it. Now the Note 9 is still pretty good at gaming, you know, considering the price it is at now, you can play at smooth um, extreme. But you can see we cannot play at HDR Extreme, but it's still pretty smooth. So um, if you're a casual gamer, then you can definitely get away with still playing games just fine on the Note 9. But if you're somebody that is serious about like gaming on your phone, obviously you're going to want the highest settings and the best frame rate. So uh, that also could be a reason you want to upgrade here. All right, let's talk about the software. Um, so as far as the additional features and everything, um, you're not really missing out on anything. Desktop support is on both of these phones. Secured folders, Adobe Atmos is on both of these guys. Pretty much everything is on uh, the S22 Ultra that you have on the Note 9. Uh, the only thing that I see that is not on here is wireless power sharing mode. So if I wanted to charge up, let's say for instance, like a pair of Galaxy Buds, I can just put that on the back here and you can see the light is on and I could just charge up or another phone. Uh, you're missing that feature on the Note 9, but if you don't find yourself using that, then it's not a big deal. As far as the stylus, um, like I said, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm like a digital artist or whatever, um, but they both feel the same. Samsung said the stylus is a little bit more accurate this year, uh, but like I said, you would have to be like, I couldn't really tell the difference, so if you're somebody that like draws a lot, maybe you'll notice that difference, but the Note 9 still feels, the stylus feels very fast, still feels very accurate as well too. You can pretty much do all the same stuff that you can do, you know, on the uh, Note 9 that you can do on the S22 Ultra. So, you know, like I said, I couldn't really tell the difference there. Uh, also, both these phones have stereo speakers as well too. So let's go ahead and check those out. All right, so we'll turn Dolby Atmos on, on both of these guys. And then we'll turn it off and see how they do. Max volume, we'll start with the S22 Ultra. So the Note 9 does have a stronger bass, so I'm not sure what kind of sound Samsung was going for with the S22 Ultra speakers. It sounds like they kind of like, maybe they did it on purpose where they knocked the bass back, but I, I don't really like that. Because it makes the speaker sound flatter to me, but it, I guess it's a preference, but they both actually are on par with loudness. 
they both sound about the same. And we'll go ahead and turn Dolby Atmos off. Yeah, so I guess it depends on the sound that you like. They both sound really good. If you want like a more bass heavy speaker, then the, the older notes seem to have that. But the S22 Ultra is not like super bass heavy. So, you know, it really depends, I guess. All right, let's also talk about some other additional features. They both have NFC and they both have IP68 dust and water resistant. And as far as getting into your phone here, uh, you have the in-display fingerprint sensor, which works really well on the S22 Ultra. You also can take advantage of face unlock. The Note 9 does it the more traditional way, fingerprint scanner on the back. And it is also very fast and you can also do uh, the uh, face unlock on this phone as well too. So it comes down to personal preference on that. Uh, the in-display fingerprint sensor is a little bit more modern, I guess, but it just depends on what you like. Um, so I do want to talk about the cameras real quick. The S22 Ultra, I think this is a pretty big uh, upgrade. Uh, for Note 9 users, if you don't take a lot of photos, then, you know, it depends on if you do. But this has one of the best camera systems in any phone right now. It's completely spec'd out, can do 100 times zoom. Uh, let's just go over these specs real quick. 108 megapixel lens on the S22 Ultra, 10 megapixel periscope telephoto lens that does 10x optical zoom, 10 megapixel telephoto lens that does 3x optical zoom, and then you have a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and this can... Uh, this does have a macro mode on it and then you can shoot an 8k 24 on this phone with a 40 megapixel selfie cam that shoots in 4k 60. so you do have on the note 9 a you know more standard uh, camera system it's a dual camera setup 12 megapixel standard then a 12 megapixel telephoto lens 2x optical zoom so no ultra wide and then you have a 4k video at 60 frames and then an 8 megapixel selfie cam that's using 1440p so let's go over these side by side stills be sure to let me know did you see a big uh, difference with image quality uh, be sure to let me know Alright guys, here's the video on the S22 Ultra. Alright guys, here's the video on the Note 9. Got our 2X. Alright, so lastly, let's go ahead and talk about battery life. So, the S22 Ultra does have a much bigger battery with a 5000 milliamp battery on here. You also have 45 watt charging. It does the 15 watt wireless charging and 4.5 uh, reverse wireless charging. The Galaxy Note 9 has a smaller battery, a 4000 milliamp battery. It does 15 watt charging, so you're getting a really big uh, charging speed upgrade with the S22 Ultra as well. And then this also does wireless charging as well too. Um, so you are going to get better screen on time on the S22 Ultra for sure. can easily get you through a day, uh, no problem. So uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think the S22 Ultra is enough uh, to upgrade from a Note 9? Be sure to let me know your thoughts and I will catch you guys in the next one.